junkyard art started in the United States in 1958. Artists were going to the junkyard and finding forms that they had not uh, previously been able to even make, the way the uh, machine age was turning out gears and, and junk in huge amounts. What this did for Clipple and people like him was it made it possible for them to move iron and steel into the acceptable category of what you could use in a sculpture. Uh, bronze, wood, marble had all been accepted before, but now steel and iron is becoming more acceptable, aluminium. So he would use these found pieces and put them together. He hoped to form a language, a syntax of forms. A student walking up to this, a uh, third grader, will sit and look at this and say, ah, I see a ship. A, another person might walk up to it and say, ah, I see an apartment building with a, a connection of pipes running between the two apartment buildings. Another might come in and say, ah, I see flowers. See the, the flower buds up here at the top? And, and what we actually have is something like a lantana where one plant comes up, it puts roots on the ground, puts the other plant up. They're all relating to the form that Clipple has mapped. He's mapped a small U with square sides and then put the objects so that they show a other relationship. Notice, for example, that in the ship, the gears appear mostly up near the top where the sails would be. If I was going to do the apartment building analogy, the gears show up up near where the windows would be. If I was going to do the flower, of course, the gears pop up where the flowers would be. Clipple said that he was trying to find the relationships between the rosebud and the gear. Notice that he wasn't just interested in the rosebud or the gear, but the relationships between them. And that's what formal abstracted sculpture does for you. It shows the relationships. The beauty of that is, is that if I can show you the relationship between the form and the apartment building, and the form and the flowers, that means that I can show you the relationship between flowers and plants and the apartment building. If you look at it, the plant needs to suck moisture or water from the ground and up to the flowers. In the apartment building, the water mains bring the water up to the people in the uh, apartments. Uh, there are multiple connections that you can make once you start seeing how the forms work. Clipple also was saying that he had come through an age in which the atom bomb was getting school kids to hide under their desks. An age that said the, an economic theory that was viable was that you uh, plan obsolescence, you plan for things to break down. He thought that the world was slowly but surely moving to madness. He argued that he was making machines that would operate in chaos. Now, take another look at this sculpture. Do you possibly see two large robots fighting it out? Do we have a machine here that sole and only purpose is its own destruction? In the age of chaos? Who knows? But come into the art gallery. Take a look. Tell me what you see in this sculpture.